hi there everyone and welcome to this video um, today we're going to be talking about the new uh, page scripting tool within business central so um, it's uh, just been released so it's wave one 2024 um, and it's basically a tool which you can use within your business central environment um, to run some scripts to run some testing okay so um, I guess if you had some tasks which um, you were doing some processes within BC that you were doing um, as part of maybe some some uh, projects that you were working on you're doing some testing maybe and you wanted to run some steps over and over again um, you could use the page scripting tool to do that uh, so just uh, before we get started, um, just bear in mind that you can get some tools that um, test multiple uh, systems, you know, so not just um, Business Central, but they can do other parts of your solution. You know, you might have other systems that you use, uh, Dynamic CE, um, for example, could be another one. Um, but this page scripting tool that we're going to talk through today uh, can only be used within your Business Central environment. OK, so let's get into it. So I'm just going to come into my settings cog here. And what I'm going to do here is just go into the page scripting option just over here. So uh, do bear in mind, uh, we're currently in preview mode here, so you may see some things change. OK, um, but if I open this up here, um, I am within my page scripting um, area. So you see I've got a section of my page to the right hand side here which is the page scripting area. Now, very simply, um, I've got a, a few options up at the top here. Um, I can choose um, to set up a new recording or I can open an existing recording. Um, I can choose to start recording and then I've got some uh, options here that I can use to talk through the different steps. Um, so I can uh, I can go back to the start, I can go back a step, I can play, I can go forward a step or stop. Um, now what I'll do just to demonstrate how this works, um, I'll just create a simple recording here um, and you can see what happens within the page scripting area. So I'll just go ahead and press record uh, looks like it's already recording there, sorry. And what I can do is I'm going to go to my customers list and you'll see it's starting to populate here with the different things that I'm doing. OK, so navigate to customers, page customers was shown. Um, I can go in and say new document and sales invoice. Then I can basically start filling in my sales invoice. So I'm just doing what I normally would within my business central environment here. I'm selecting a GL account number. I'm inputting a quantity. I'm inputting a unit price. And as you can see here on the right hand side, it's basically populating with uh, all of the steps there that I'm taking. OK, so let me press F9 uh, for post. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to say, no, I don't want to open the posted invoice. OK, so now let me go ahead and stop. And very simply, that is our page scripting um, flow steps recorded. OK, so you can see here on the right hand side now I've got a bunch of steps. And what I can do is I can now use these buttons to say rewind to start, go to the previous step, stop, play or go to the next step. OK, so if I now go back to the start and press play, so um, I just get this message and I purposely did it in a production environment. So you'd see this, I, I guess, you know, typically speaking, you wouldn't really do this in a production environment. But here it's giving us a bit of a warning um, to say, look, what you're about to do is uh, maybe going to change data. Um, well, in this example, it's going to post an invoice. So it's basically saying, are you really sure you want to do this? So obviously be careful running this uh, if you're running it in a production environment. Maybe you shouldn't be, um, but depends, I guess, how your BC is set up. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and say yes and see what it's now doing is it's running through those steps and it's basically doing the same thing that I did before. Right. So it's filling in the invoice, it's posting and there we go. And see there it tells me the script completed without errors. Right. And I've got green 
sort of check uh, check boxes, tick boxes next to um, each of the uh, steps that we took there. And just some of the other stuff that we can do here. So obviously, I guess this is uh, as flexible and uh, can be used as deeply as we want to. Um, but I mean, if I just show you, I've got the three dots next to my, my steps here. Um, so if I go next to the input 100 into unit price, excluding VAT, I can go properties and I can change the value, right? So if I want to save this script and for example, not put 100 into the unit price excluding VAT. Um, I can go in there and I can change this value to whatever I want to. OK, so equally, I can go in and I can press um, run to this particular step. Right. So if I said I want to um, run up to this particular step where I select the GL account, I can say run to here. OK, and you see here we do also have a properties option. It's grayed out in this particular um, option. But if I look for one where I can select that, so if I go into there in properties, I can choose a, a value to put into that particular step. And there are other instances. It depends on what type of field you're using where you can input different properties. Obviously, it would uh, it would depend on the field that you're using. OK, so. Some of the other things you can do then is you can save the recording. So um, that just saves as a file to your local environment and um, you can then um, edit that in the saved format. If you want to, we'll do uh, another video on that one. Um, you can also share um, by copying links um, for this particular page um, script that you've uh, that you've recorded. So. I'm just going to do one more thing here. Um, if I change the um, value there to something that's going to cause the script to fail. So what I've done there is in the property section for unit price excluding VAT. I've changed that from 100, what we originally put in, to test. OK, so I'd expect it to fall over at that point. Um, and I guess we've done that on purpose, but it's just to show you what would happen on um, a failure within a script. OK, so what we're going to do is go ahead and play our script again. I'm going to accept my error message here again, saying uh, I'm, I'm good to play in production. Let's go ahead and say yes. And it's going to run through the same steps that we did last time. However, when it gets to our unit price, excluding VAT here, um, you can see that it's telling us that the entry of test is not an acceptable value for unit price, excluding VAT. Um, so we've also got a failure there as well. You can see I've got some tick boxes up until that point, then I've got um, an error. OK, so really, guys, it was just to show you um, how an error would look when you're running the page scripts. Um, and I guess and that is everything that I wanted to show you in this video. I mean, have a play. Uh, get comfortable with it. Obviously, probably do that in a sandbox environment first, um, but it looks pretty good. I mean, you can test a number of different things with it. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're building uh, a modification and you've got um, some some repeatable tests that you need to be able to do, um, perhaps it's a good idea to set up some page scripts and then you can keep running that script over and over again. Um, but that's all for today, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, Please do reach out if uh, you have any queries or any comments or feedback. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.